Hello everybody, this is Jay, KB8O. Gonna do a short video on the DX Engineering NCC2 antenna phase controller. Like the NCC1 that used to use two receive antennas for the inputs, the NCC2 allows you now to use a transmit antenna on port A and a receive antenna on port B. Just so you know my setup, my uh, transmit antenna on port A is a two wavelength, 160 meter loop in a square formation. It's 1100 feet of wire at about 80 feet. And on port B, I'm using a single DX Engineering vertical receive antenna. So no attenuation on port B. And I'm doing about 20 dB of attenuation on port A, just because the loop hears so much more noise and static and everything else that the receive vertical uses. My balance is set at zero, which is important to balance the two inputs into the controller, and my phase is approximately at seven. I'm on 160 meters. It's about a 10 over S9 noise floor, which is very high for me. <clears throat> Normally I'm about an S4, S5, but there's been some power line work done in my area recently. And I've got a elevated noise floor that uh, is uh, aggravating to say the least. So I'm trying out the NCC2 to see if I can't combat some of that noise floor. I figured I would do the test with FT8 digital mode since uh, it's the hot new digital mode and kind of give a comparison on how the NCC2 can improve your receive signals on the lower bands. So all these settings that I have in here right now are preset for 160. That's a nice thing about the NCC2. I can write all these uh, numbers down here that I have in and come back every night and it will be pre-tuned, ready to go on 160 meters for me. So we're going to go ahead and engage the NCC2 and I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit. So we're down to about an S4, maybe S5 noise floor. Pan adapter is looking really good. Now we're starting to see the waterfall come to life above. Some signals coming out of the noise a little bit. Signal to noise ratio is looking quite a bit better than it was before. So let's go over and see what we're decoding and see if we can do some comparisons. Okay, here's a good one right here. Here is uh, Kilo Alpha 1, Alpha Quebec Papa. He's a negative 12 dB. And here's Kilo Alpha 1, Alpha Quebec Papa. He's a positive 4 dB. So he went from a negative 12 to a negative 4. Again, he's showing up here at a negative 3. And the more and more that I play with it, uh, I see uh, quite a bit more uh, signal to noise increases when I use the controller. And we'll put it back in bypass here. The 10 over noise floor is back again. And what was a quiet waterfall is now full of noise. Definitely a huge improvement at my QTH with the power line noise that I have. Uh, I also do have the DX Engineering Foursquare. Uh, I do have it set up for 160 meters. 
I will do another video using the four square and the 160 meter lube. But just wanted to do a comparison uh, on the noise reduction that the NCC do, uh, NCC2 does from DX Engineering. This is Jay, KB80.